Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people. Welcome to PCR. You know who I am. And we're over here at Bounding into Comics with the inimitable Spencer Bakuli. And what do we got here? Well, that little fella looks familiar. Willow producer Jonathan Kasdan. Is this a relation to Lawrence Kasdan? Probably. Says sequel series Central Lesbians. Romance keeps alive the spirit of moving the fantasy genre to a content blah 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 blah. How many fucking times do you have to hear that? We've got to modernize things, folks. We're gonna make it look like us. <laughs> Hold on. Let's read some more of this compelling article. No shade towards the person that wrote the article. I just realized I'm going to be a little nauseated. <laughs> disgusting motherfuckers. It's disgusting. People really do like Willow. You know, everybody kind of had their thoughts on it when it came out. I wasn't, you know, overcome with joy to go see it. But <laughs> today it's a masterpiece next to the shit that is being churned out. According to producer Jonathan Kasdan, the decision to feature, uh, to feature of a, oh, come on, guys. Come on, get your shit together. The decision to feature of a lesbian romance front and center in the upcoming Disney Plus, of course it's Disney. Of course it's Disney, right? <laughs> Willow sequel series was born out of, listen to it, listen to it, was born out of the spirit of moving the fantasy genre into a contemporary sound found in George Lucas's. Do you think George Lucas ever said to anybody, man, I can't wait to see Willow become lesbians. <laughs> Do you think that he ever said that or ever thought that? I, I probably know. No, probably not. Probably not. Look at this motley crew of fuckbags in this little picture here. Right to left, Willow. Oof, good. Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. That would be Wicked W. Warwick, right? The little Ewok in Return of the Jedi, right? Right? Isn't it amazing to see all of these actors turn over and sell the fuck out? Knowing what this is, because, well, they got to stay working, right? Right? Because if you don't toe the line in Hollyweird, what happens to you? You don't work. And if you don't work, you don't eat. And then you might have to go and get a regular fucking job like the vast majority of other people on Earth, and that certainly won't do. Can't have that. Graydon is Tony uh, Revolori. Borman, Amar Chada Patel. You got to have that representation in there. Can't have a cast of all white freaks, right? Can't have that. Dove is Ellie Bamber. I don't, I don't even give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck who this is. Kasdan, who uh, also served as Willow's lead developer, offered his thoughts on the romance. Is it really a romance? Is it? Ugh. Between protagonists Dove and Kit during a promotional to Polygon ahead of given a, a head given of a head given of the series. No, but guys, you got to work on the way that you write these fucking articles. Don't you have a proofreader? As explained by Polygon Susanna Polo whose misfired attempt at hyping the romance instead comes off as a comprehensive listing of every terrible writing habit representative of modern Hollywood. Willow's two mains are Kit and Dove. Of course. Of course it is. Because representation, right? Because you have to have that shit now, according to them. According to them, you have to have that. Both young women who wrestle with the legacy of Elora Danan, but Kit's own. What? Kit's own Buildings Roman? Buildings Roman? What the fuck? Just call me a little on the ignorant side. I don't know what a Buildings Roman is. May come to overshadow Doves in a conversation about the show. As a good part of her journey is realizing that she is 
in mutual love <laughs> with her best friend. <laughs> oh, look, look right back here. You can see, uh, you can see Freckle Jesus. You see Freckle Jesus back here. Is she one of the ones that's uh, going to be the lesbian? Is she going to be lesbian? Disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. In a long overdue and welcome development for fantasy cinema. Really? Really? Welcomed by who? It's not welcomed by anyone. You see, if these folks were really confident about what they were putting out, they wouldn't be putting it out under the banner of Willow or Doctor Strange or Batman comics or Superman comics. They would make something brand new and they'd put it out that way. But you know why they don't do that? Because it won't sell. Because nobody gives a shit about it. You see? Because you're telling normal people that somehow or another they have to care about the abnormal. Now, I don't deny you your humanity. Uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I will not participate in your delusion of what you think is real. Goodness, 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 goodness. In a long overdue and welcome development for fantasy cinema television ads, Polo, and the Disney Corporation itself, Kit, a self-centered tomboy princess who spends most of the series dressed like a dread pirate, and Jade, an orphan girl who wants to become her country's first female knight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This this reads like fucking awful fan fiction. I'm sure that I won't be the last person that you hear say that. Ooh. ooh. Or as though someone took every tomboy fantasy heroine in the YA literature canon, tossed him in a blender, and flipped a big mad scientist let lever from subtext to text. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, fucking lutely man. Asked by Polo for insight into the process, the pro quote-unquote, the process. There is no fucking process. You know what the process is? The process is you got 40 check boxes, and then you get to write the story. That's the fucking process. Fuck these people of developing the romance and whether or not he had received any caution against its inclusion. Inclusion. Beard, ASMR. Mm. And Disney higher-ups Kasdan confirmed there was no pushback. Of course not. Of course not. What's interesting is, I hope and I believe we're at a moment where you're going to see a paradigm shift in that, said the Solo, a Star Wars story, tell you, uh, okay. Okay, Solo lost money, fuckbags. And hopefully, the way that it's going to happen in these kinds of queer uh, quotation mark, sort of quotation mark stories, particularly like this one, that were just organic to the narrative we were telling, find their way in and it becomes less of a surprising and unusual thing to see. So you mean uh, normalizing sexual debauchery and mental illness. Is that what you mean, Kasdan? Is that what you mean? Sounds like that's what you mean. You fucking maggots. These people are maggots. They're disgusting. Disgusting. Because it's part of the landscape of the world around us. It's the three fucking percent of the landscape around us. And the only reason it's rising is because you've indoctrinated kids to believe that it's legit. Then you shuttle them in somewhere so that they can cut their titties off and throw them on a trash heap. Start taking... Lots of testosterone. If you look at the original Willow, by no fault of anyone, it's not very diverse. Uh, diverse is now code speak for everything not white. Anti-whiteism. That's exactly what diverse means now, anti-whiteism. So let's see what we got. What else do we have? Eh, through, through no, nobody's fault. So nobody's at fault, but it's it's bad. So, Because according to them, I mean, they're implying that it's bad. But it's nobody's fault, though. He then asserted, as we enter 2022, the world has changed. <laughs> More than you know, motherfucker. More than you know. Um, 
<laughs> in the way we're absorbing entertainment and the faces we're reflecting in entertainment have expanded enormously. And we hope to show it can be growing in the world to grow, blah, 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 blah. Just as frankly, the movie was, he concluded, uh, one thing that I love about the movie is that you have this very classical fantasy that you're about to fuck up really bad. Lord of the Rings, anybody? I don't even associate that fucking trash that Amazon put out with Lord of the Rings. It's bad fan fiction that way, way overpaid. Way. Ugh. Ugh. One thing that I love about the movie is that you have this very classical fantasy, but at the heart of it, you have a very contemporary Val Kilmer character who has a sound that's unlike any other 80s fantasy character that had ever been. And it was important to us to keep that spirit alive. <laughs> While these people are choking on their own cocks trying to tell you why you should accept this fucking tripe, this garbage, this trash. Don't accept it, folks. Don't accept it. Far be it from me to tell you what to do. Don't accept this. Don't accept this. Don't watch it. I mean, will I watch the first episode to review it? I don't even know if I'm going to watch the first episode to review it, to be honest with you. It was enough of a chore to watch Cassie and Andor in Cassie and Andor's series that turned out to be not so bad. But like I said before, what I always offer, I always give this, I proffer this to people. I tell them straight, look, when you've been fed chum and shit and trash for over a decade now, over a decade, folks, and then all of a sudden something really mediocre comes along and you're like, oh man, huh, that was pretty good. It's not the fact that it was pretty good. It's the fact that your expectations are in the toilet. That they suck. That's what it is. That's what it is. You're so used to seeing shit that when a really big polished turd comes along, you're kind of confused. You don't know if it's actual shit until you take a bite. Look at this motley crew of motherfuckers in this photograph. It's ridiculous. Do we want to read anything else? Probably not. Probably not. In a recent interview, the rap Black Panther, Wakanda, for never, no Black Panther, producer Nate Moore offered an equally nonsensical assertion in defense of the Mesoamerican changes made to Namor's. Oh, I guess that's his real name. Fuck me. I might have mispronounced it. I don't know. Character in the transition from page to the screen, there weren't there weren't really things we couldn't do from a character perspective for him, said more, which is good because clearly we took a ton of inspiration from the source material. No, you didn't, you lying son of a fucking bitch. You didn't take any inspiration from the source material. You didn't even fucking read it. You didn't even read it. This isn't Namor. This isn't Prince Namor. This isn't Atlantis. Those aren't Atlanteans. Fuck bags. These people are nauseating. They're just fucking nauseating. Took a ton of inspiration from the source material. Sure you did, pal. But we also made some big changes to really anchor him in that world in a truth that publishing never really landed on, I would argue, in a big way. Would you? Would you argue that? I don't think anybody can argue that this film was outright fucking trash. Just garbage. But for some strange reason, it made money. Can you believe that shit? I can't even believe that. So yeah, we'll fucking discard that that trash right there. Folks, don't waste your time on this stuff. Willow is going to be another woke piece of shit. Um, they will go down the line until there is nothing left to burn. And it's going to be left to future generations of people. That's going to be writers, filmmakers, producers, lighting people, makeup people, whatever it is. 
CGI folks, practical effects folks. It's going to be left up to you, all of you, to not just fix this. If you can, good luck. To not just fix it, but to get back on the fucking rails and figure out what what you got to do to move the genre forward now. This is not moving the genre forward. This is setting fire to the genre. And they're doing it everywhere. And Willow is just one more pathetic Pete example of how this shit just stinks now. How everything stinks. And you say to yourselves, but, 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 aren't you being just a little bit harsh? Just a little bit harsh? A little bit? No. Not being a little bit harsh at all. Unfortunately, this is where we're at, gang. You and I have to wade through this shit until we either die or folks start stepping up to correct what is going on now. And trust me, uh, one or both is going to happen. And uh, it's going to start happening quickly.